welcome to this class of artificial intelligence here we are discussing fuzzy uh, set with an idea to understand fuzzy logic which can be applied to solve real life problems of engineering what we have discussed so far is about fuzzy sets and their operations in general now we will take up one problem and through that we will try to understand the meaning of operations in fuzzy sets now as it is written here that what we will be doing we will be considering a simple hollow shaft of approximately 1 meter radius which will look like this and it is having a hollow thickness so uh, it is having a wall thickness so let us have thickness of wall like this i am not able to draw it uniformly but you assume it to be uniform so this thickness of wall is going to be 1 by 2 pi meter and radius of this hollow shaft which is cylindrical in shape is 1 meter So let us complete its shape. It will be like this. Now, this shaft is built by stacking a ductile section D. So we will divide it into parts. So this part, this part, is of a ductile section uh, is a ductile section of appropriate cross section over a brittle section so this ductile section is named as d brittle section is named as b and a downward force and a torque are simultaneously applied on the shaft so we assume that a downward force is here applied on the shaft and a torque is applied so let us draw its axis from center the axis is passing and on this shaft a torque is applied and this torque is t and this pressure is p downward force is p now the dimensions are chosen in such a way that normal shear stress on any any element in the shaft is t pascals and the nominal vertical component of the stress in the shaft is p pascals now here we assume that the failure properties of uh, this b as well as d are not known with certainty so here this property this feature is going to uh, to make us use the fuzzy logic now we will define a fuzzy set a and as we have discussed earlier we will use this tilde under strike this fuzzy set a is to be the reason in pt space so fuzzy space uh, fuzzy set a is to be the reason in in pt space so pt space is our is our space of uh, the shear stress this is another vertical component of stress and this is shear stress 
on the shaft vertical component of stress <coughs> and this is shear stress so this was a set a is to be reason in this pt space for which material d is safe we have two materials and this was a set is talking about material d being safe Here we will be using a metric uh, to decide the failure. So failure function we are going to have and that failure function is something like f e square plus 4 t square under root. This is a function having this argument. Similarly, we define the position set B to be the reason in PT space for which material B is safe using another metric here failure function mu b this should be tilde under strike which is another function g which is p minus beta times mod t these functions are such that they return these values to be within 0 to 1 range so they these values returned will be membership functions similarly g function is such that it will make this mu b to lie between 0 and 1 and this will also form give us membership function now we will assume here that for this fuzzy set A in this PT space we assume that this P is having two discrete components uh, two discrete not components two discrete instances or two discrete values where we would be interested to know the strength and T is having three instances, three discrete values where we would be interested to know the the the, the safety, with the how safe it is. Now, what we would do here is. For this P1 and P2 and T1, T2, T3, we will get six values, six uh, points. So let us call this as point X1. This is X2. So X1 represents a pair which is P1 and T1. Similarly, X2 represents uh, P, P2 and T1 then we have X3 X4 X5 X6 now this X6 we can see that it is P2 and T3 so P2 comma T3 so in this way we have these pairs and each of the pair is corresponding to one variable X1 now we can assign to these values certain membership uh, 
corresponding uh, to these points. So this pair which we are giving the name x1 which is here is assigned some value that I am calling mu x1 and as it is for ductile one or fuzzy set A then we will use this subscript A. Here this subscript A and this point is x2 so this x2 similarly here it will be x6 now we can write this fuzzy set A in, uh, in terms of membership functions corresponding to all these six points here x1, x2, x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6 so we will take x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 and x6 and using this function which we have discussed earlier using this function mu's will be mu a will be evaluated and suppose that comes out to be 0 and 1 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, and 0 0.1. And these are function theory unions. These are elements, and these are corresponding membership functions. Similarly, we can write or fuzzy set B using the function corresponding to this one, this function, but the points in this space will be same for A as well as for B, means for A and as both. So here this X1 will be common these points in the space at which these members values are being evaluated those will be same but their corresponding membership values will be different that depends that what value we get I should mention one thing more that here if this membership function is value is 0 then we can write it like this also that we can remove this and we can simply write like this like this so if a uh, position is written like this this means that if our universe of discourse is specifying 6 values x1, x2, x3 x4, x5, x6. So our universe of discourse is having 6 points but this fuzzy set I have written giving only these 5 points. It means that this value is implicit. This is implicit if we don't write. So either we can write like this or we can write with this term also. So whatever operations we have discussed on fuzzy sets two have not been discussed so far that we will see here 